My name is Joseph Kutz and I'm the Archbishop of Karachi. Karachi is the largest city of Pakistan. It is in the south on the Arabian Sea. It is a large port city. And when I talk about the church in Pakistan, I'm not talking only about Karachi, but the whole country. Now, we are faced with many difficulties being a third world country, as it is called, a poor country with a big gap between the rich, the few rich and the, and the large number of poor people. The Christians in Pakistan largely belong to the lower socio-economic level. We have a small but growing middle class, but generally our people are lower on the economic scale in the country. And therefore, as a church, there is much that needs to be done. Because we also face discrimination from the majority in finding jobs, etc., what is very important for us as a church is, first of all, to provide education. The literacy level in Pakistan is about 50%. So that means half the population is illiterate. And education is the best way to bring development, social and economic development. Now, as Catholic Church, we have many schools in Pakistan. Every diocese will have, depending from 40 to 50 to 60 schools, Catholic schools. But you should always remember, but when we say Catholic school or Catholic hospital, it's always open to everybody. We have many Muslims studying in our schools. We have Muslim teachers working together with, with Catholic teachers and so also in the hospital and all the charitable work we do. So the church is really using much of its resources, putting much of its resources into education because our schools do not get state help. We have to manage from the fees that the parents pay for the children. So there are small schools which need to be subsidized by the diocese. Or we have to find the, sound, the funding from other sources. So also are other, other works. In my archdiocese, we have one Catholic hospital. Again, it is open to everybody. And because we cannot afford to train Catholic doctors we, we, our doctors are Muslim and Hindu community as well. It is a struggle to maintain these institutions. Yet, our institutions are a very important means of giving witness to our faith, <clears throat> of showing what it means to be Christian, to give life to others. But Jesus Christ said in the Gospel according to John, I came that they may have life and have it to the full. So we have to really talk about an integral approach, even in evangelization. We cannot just preach the word. We don't just preach the word in, an, in, an, in a vacuum. It's always in a given situation. When the people are poor, we have to make them feel something of God's love for them, that somebody cares for them. We also have some housing schemes to help the poor people who have no place or they live in slums in the big cities and it's a big problem to find a decent place to live. So there is almost no end to the way in which we need to help people. But we do our best with what we have and we are very grateful for those benefactors and friends who help us in the work we are doing. For ultimately, we are giving witness to our faith to our faith that tells us that we must love everybody, that everybody is our neighbor, and that Jesus Christ came to give us life, and to give us life to the full. So that is our mission, that is our work in Pakistan. Although we are only 2% of the population, I can say with God's grace and with the help of so many others, we are working beyond our 2% to reach a much greater part of the population and to help in the development of the country as well.